so, I mean, you know, going into your into your second, you know, preparation for the season, how's this one different from, from last year? Um, well, different mentally, you know, you know what's going on, what to expect, um, what the coaches expect out of you. Um, and just going through a program with uh, Coach Mick again and all the expectations, you kind of just know. So it's, it's better for you mentally and also physically being able to play in college sport for another year, so. I mean, not going back to last year, but looking at this year, I mean, how are things different? You know, a lot of new faces on the coaching staff on the defensive side. Is anything structurally different in terms of just how, you know, oper things operate? No, and so it's probably, Coach Day made a good point in trying to keep it the same as it was with the energy and um, the fire that we have under us. Um, so we went through when our workouts all the same and practices are the same and just trying to get um, – keep everything the same because he liked how it was um, and I think we have, still have that same fire and that same passion as we did last year. Who are you repping at the most? Which, um, which I, play, I play all of them. All of them? Yes, I've been playing all of them. Got a favorite? Of, I mean, I know obviously, you know, trying to make an impact for the team when games do things like that, but is yeah. there one that you think that just really fits you the best? Uh, not particularly. Um, I like playing all of them. Whatever gets me on the field, um, I, I do whatever I need to do for my team. What's that Washington been? It's great. He's a great coach, very passionate. Um, we love that guy. He uh, brings energy every day um, out on the field, in the meeting rooms. Um, he's a great coach, um, coaches on what we need to be coached on, um, tells us what we need to hear truth, truthfully. Um, and so he's just a great guy, great coach. Last year as a true freshman at this point, you're probably drinking from a fire hose, so much going on at that point. Yeah. Last year, did you hear, you know, a lot of fans were critical of the linebacker position. Did you hear that? How do you put that? I mean, if you did, how do you how do you kind of move past that? Yeah, so we just, I mean, just hit the reset button and start a new year. Um, basically, that's what you do every year. No matter what happened last year, it doesn't really matter. Um, just focus on the next year um, and coming back stronger than whatever, however it was last year, depending on what position or what team or whatever. Um, you just kind of hit the reset button and go faster and go harder next time. My last one. Uh, a lot of people are expecting huge things out of out of Malik. Well, what have you seen out of Malik? With the Malik is a fantastic end. player. Um, he's my big brother. I love him to death. We roomed with each other um, in the hotels last year, um, and we expect him to be a great linebacker and probably the best in the country. How has Malik helped you come along on the field and also off? Um, so off the field, he's a great person. Um, I follow him basically everything we do. Just trying to. Be like him, you know. Um, great line, linebacker on the field, obviously. He gives great teaching points and all that stuff. And so just kind of playing under him and watching how he works and how he does what he does um, is very inspiring. And you just kind of want to follow in those footsteps. It's pretty crazy. We got Portland and Warner and uh, Malik back, and then you and Taraja and Barry yeah. coming up. Is there room for all you guys? How is that helping you push you guys into? Spots. Yeah, so the linebacker group, we're all super close. So with all those people that you named coming back, so we've been with each other for a, a little bit. Um, and so we've grown closer as a group, and I think that helps us on the field and obviously off the field too. So we're all pushing for each other um, to get better. We're teaching each other. We're learning from each other and all that other stuff. And so that just helps push each other to be better than what they were. Um, and in that way, um, we all just kind of excel as the linebacker group together. How important was it for you to play special teams last year? Uh, super important. Um, when you come in as a freshman, that's kind of the main motto that you try to push in your head is special teams. It's going hard, the effort, and all that stuff. And so to me, that was just a big part of my career um, in starting off at Ohio State is kind of starting on special teams. Younger guys like Cade, Tommy, and, and Craig, and those guys coming in who obviously, like yourself, came in highly recruited guy. Mm -hmm. Have you been able to help kind of spread that message start, like, hey, you, you got to do this first guy before you walk? Yeah, so that's kind okay, of the message okay, that they try to get through um, through camp. Um, it's just going as fast as I can, as hard as I can with effort and showing it on special teams because we need players, um, young players that are very talented like Craig and Cade uh, to play on special teams. And so we try to push that into their heads. And I've been trying to help them and so has everybody else. What was the main thing they told you to work on to get on the field and how has that been going for uh, Just basically everything, you know, kind of freshman year is kind of just a bunch um, from school and football and all this stuff. And so kind of just focusing in, becoming comfortable and playing college football because obviously it's a big jump from high school to college. Um, so basically focus on everything, um, for, forming a bond with my teammates and all that good stuff. And so kind of just everything to, to improve on, I would say. Let's go ahead and wrap up with Dallas here. The first time I saw you in the spring, I was like, whoa.
Is that Dallas? Like, you look so much bigger. Um, yeah. How much did you come in at? Where are you at now? And how how was that process? Yeah. So I came in. I think my first weigh-in was like like 200, 202, I think, and now I'm two thirty-two. Um, so Coach Mick knows how to do it, and you guys hear about that all the time, how Coach Mick gets people right, and that's all it is. Um, and then going through workouts and stuff with your team um, just creates bonding and then obviously changes your body and always improves, on, on, improves for how you work on the field. Thanks, Dallas. Yep.